My children were still sick. We didn't have anything. We were very poor. My husband was unemployed. No one in our family had enough food to eat. Grinding poverty remains the reality for one fifth of the world's people. 1.3 billion subsist on less than one dollar a day. You know, the change in our pockets is what people will survive on. Nearly 30,000 children under the age of five die each day from poverty-related causes. That's where poverty hits the the toughest. It's the greatest affront to human dignity. And poverty gives rise to so many other human tragedies: malnutrition. Lack of health care, environmental devastation, the spread of HIV/AIDS. The struggle against global poverty can seem daunting, even overwhelming. But Grameen Foundation USA offers a new vision and new hope. It is leading a movement that has already helped millions break through to a better life. I sold vegetables. Sometimes I wouldn't even get my money back. Sometimes I would make less than fifty cents. I would use it to buy a little food. Patient Ziyamu lives in Benin City, Nigeria. Widowed at an early age, she struggled to support herself and her two children. One day, patients heard about Lapo. Lapo, the Lift Above Poverty organization, is on the front lines of Nigeria's fight against poverty. With Grameen Foundation USA's support, Lapo employs a bold new strategy: microfinance. It makes small loans to almost 20,000 poor women to help them start and expand tiny businesses that can be a pathway to a better life. Grameen Foundation USA believes that microfinance. Is the most powerful anti-poverty strategy ever developed. I rented a grinding machine with the money. I said to myself, "This is very good." I had been so thin from not eating. I started to recover. My children, with the first loan, I was able to put them in school. I got another loan, and I used it to buy my own grinding machine. With greater profits and more loans. Patience has bought two more machines. On good days, I make ten times as much money as before. Microfinance applies business principles in support of a social mission. Lending is based on social collateral. People support each other and hold one another accountable. If a woman cannot repay because of a personal emergency. The other borrowers are expected to help her through her difficulties. You really develop a spirit of community that I don't think happens when they just get a grant, which is just on a one-to-one -one basis. For Lapo, social collateral has produced a repayment rate of 97 percent. Microfinance, as it is practiced by Grameen Foundation USA's partners, focuses on the poorest members of a society. Turning poverty around is our critical agenda. Without Grameen Foundation, there would be a loss of a, a real voice to keep the world focused on the poorest of the poor. It is also directed almost exclusively to women. Women are the primary target of most microfinance organizations because they're the most underserved. They're also been proven to be better fighters of poverty. Anything I want to do, I have money to do it. My greatest joy is that I can educate my children. The answer to poverty did not come from an Ivy League college or a Washington think tank. It came from Bangladesh. In 1976, Muhammad Yunus, a young economics professor, encountered a group of women who appeared to be running profitable cottage industries. Yet they and their children were starving. Village loan sharks charged them so much interest that the women could barely scratch out a living. Dr. Yunus lent the women small amounts of money. Out of his own pocket, the women flourished, and Grameen Bank was born. Grameen Bank has grown into a powerful force for social change. It has lent more than four billion dollars 
and now serves more than 3 million borrowers. 95% are women. A 1998 World Bank study found that Grameen families were emerging from poverty at the rate of 10,000 per month. Other research indicates that almost half of Grameen Bank members have escaped poverty. A global movement has begun. Almost 50 million of the world's poorest families now put microloans to work. More than 100 programs use the Grameen model to break through poverty. But with 3 billion people living on less than $2 a day, the untapped market for microfinance remains vast. Grameen Foundation USA was created in 1997 to meet this challenge. It helps scores of up-and-coming microfinance institutions to reach for the scale and success of Grameen Bank. The foundation has delivered millions of dollars along with technical support to ensure their success. Its reach is global, spanning four continents, making an impact in regions as diverse as the Arab world, Southeast Asia, Central America, and even inner cities in the United States. Never before has a development strategy reached so many people so quickly and so efficiently. You put money into the system and it gets lent to a borrower and then it comes back and then it gets lent again and it comes back and it stays working indefinitely. It's not spent once and it's gone. For perhaps the first time in history, an effective anti-poverty strategy exists that can create an impact that lasts well beyond the original investment. My husband started to pedal a rickshaw that he rented from someone else. Because of the payments, there was never enough food to feed the children. As I faced this trouble, there was pain in my heart, and I was not able to sleep at night. Kesa became a member of Cash for India, a Grameen Foundation USA partner in Uttar Pradesh, one of India's poorest states. With the first loan, I purchased a rickshaw. Immediately, things improved. We no longer had to pay most of our earnings as rental to somebody else. With her next loan, Kesa purchased a second rickshaw and rented it out for even more income. Now, we have plenty of food to eat. Today, we feel so much more secure. In India, Grameen Foundation USA has worked intensively with three partners and helped them grow from reaching 45,000 women to 300,000 in just three years. Grants and loans have not been enough to finance this tremendous growth. So Grameen Foundation USA has developed new ways to mobilize the funds its partners need. Indian banks have begun to see the profitability of providing loan capital to microfinance institutions, but they are often unwilling to do so without guarantees. Grameen Foundation USA uses contributions from supporters to provide those guarantees, leveraging millions of dollars of new capital and increasing the impact of donors' funds tenfold. Banks around the world are going to be able to see this as a profitable, viable business. The amount of money that we can generate in India will be infinitely increased beyond what we can generate at the donor level. Financial innovation has triggered innovations in technology. Grameen Foundation USA is developing cutting-edge tools to strengthen the impact of microfinance. The Foundation's Technology Center is creating flexible, easy-to-use software that will allow its partners to share information with banks and with donors. And it is bringing new technology to poor people directly. Just because you're poor, why shouldn't you have access to some of these tools that we have access to if they can affect your situation? Communication is a basic human need. In rural Uganda, where people often live isolated from mainstream life and commerce, the foundation has launched a cell phone initiative. Mm. Micro-entrepreneurs use loans to buy handsets, 
and effectively become the phone company in their village. We would have to travel 10 kilometers to Umbali. Now we can call from here. We can talk with our children who live far away. And what's so exciting is that it's working very well. The women who need only to sell six minutes of air time to break even are very quickly selling triple that. Grameen Foundation USA's plan is to create viable business models that will allow ventures like these to be employed in poor communities across the globe. So we can prove this model, this scale, could be massive in, in even five or six years. Are you happy? $25 to $28, that's what I can get for a crate of peaches. And I am going to harvest 10 to 15 crates per week, per week. Andrea Perez Vasquez is a member of Al Sol, Alternativa Solidaria, in Chiapas, Mexico. With several loans, Andrea transformed an overgrown hillside into a peach orchard. Things have changed a lot. Quite a lot. Now, things are much better. I can live without worry. Al Sol serves over 3,000 women in Chiapas, Mexico's most impoverished state. 90% of Chiapas' 4 million citizens live in poverty, and women are the poorest among poor. Grameen Foundation USA and Al Sol feel an urgency to reach many more women. But like all young microfinance organizations, Al Sol will need a substantial infusion of funds to fuel this growth. Grameen Foundation introduced Al Sol to a group of businesswomen from Dallas, Texas, who came to Chiapas to see how they can help. I've never spoken to someone, visited with someone, who lives on a dollar a day. I've just seen videos of these people in the news, and you know they were never interviewed. They were just on videos, silent beings. And to have the opportunity to meet someone, you relate to them, you know them. And money is critical. And here, here Grameen Foundation USA so connects donors who have a vision of a poverty-free world with microfinance professionals who can make that vision a reality. We've become a magnet for talent and for passionate people who have gifts to give. After you know, 15 years of working at Citibank, when I encountered microfinance, it was as though I had been waiting for, to find this my whole life. I find this so dramatic to participate in. The people I've met who are running these programs are such wonderful people. There's an idealism about this whole thing. We decided that this is what we wanted to do as a family, with a family foundation. If you want the most direct route to the best people around the world and you want to be able to, to immediately plug in and make a difference, Grameen Foundation unlocks that world and offers it to you. Throw your stuff out two to three years. The women from Dallas have made the commitment to help Al Sol more than double in size. Microcredit uh, represents opportunity. And what I've been given, what my generation of American women, we've been given opportunity. So the great thing about microcredit is it lets me give the gifts that I've been given. If it were not for the loans, I would never have been able to make enough money to live. My children give me great joy because they have this opportunity to study. Because of all this, I feel my soul will finally be at peace. For the first time ever, a strategy consisting of millions and millions of small loans is battling poverty at its core in places where its grip has been the strongest. The beauty of microfinance, what gives it such great potential, is that it is a solution that can be implemented on the scale of the problem of world poverty. If we can attract the kind of talent and passionate people who want to make that happen, that's the secret, that's the key, and that's why we're interested in partnering with people who share this vision. Philanthropy is needed to help make that dream a reality. You can make the difference with your time, talent, and resources. And your gifts have the unique opportunity to be used again and again. Join other investors in the microfinance movement to break through to a world free from poverty.